<laughs> Got the balance. Yeah, there's no reason why you're so tall. Arm of the hills. Ah. <laughs> Been a while since we've had a chance to see you fight. Yes. I know you had one schedule that you had to withdraw from, so just give us an idea kind of kind of what you've been up to for the last 14 months. Basically, I've just had some time off, some mental layoff, and of course I've incurred some injuries over that time. Uh, I hurt my back, I had a bit of a fall outside of training, and I tore some tendons in my knuckle, had some minor surgery there. Um, and of course I've been coaching as well, so in the time that I've been off, I've been coaching, so that's, it's been good for me in that way I've been able to uh, gain my love again for MMA and the passion is there. So this time around I feel like I'm more ecstatic to be here and I'm really keen to put on a good show. It's interesting, so if you don't mind me asking, I mean, yep. of course we hear about physical injuries, but yeah. you say, hey, I need some mental time off. Do you yeah. mind expanding on that, kind of what, what you mean? Yeah, of course. I mean, a lot of people don't understand, and I know a lot of people are afraid to speak out about it, but I'm not. I've been struggling with something like depression, anxiety, and mild schizophrenia since I was young, so I'm kind of coming up from that now, and uh, on the right medication, seeing the right people, and of course, having the right support around you. It's all about people around you. If you've got a bunch of idiots around you, and it'll bring you down then you're going to go down with them. You know, you are who you hang with. That's what they say. So I'm just been embracing it and hanging around with the right people. Very cool. It has been a while since you fought. I doubt you want to talk too much about the bad mirror last time, but you did miss weight last time. Yes, I wonder, yes. you know, has, has nutrition or diet, I mean, has that been anything uh, that you've been focusing on in the meantime as well? Is yep. weight a concern this week? I mean, this week I'm great. I mean, I'm based, I'm on weight. You know, I'm ready. Um, going up to flyweight is a big change to me. More power, strength, everything is just different. Um, I'm a different fighter this time around. And talk about the matchup itself. I mean, did you, Montana, she's had a couple great results in the UFC. I mean, were, were you excited to have it? What, what, what do you think about the matchup itself? I thought it was awesome. I mean, like, I didn't really know too much about her. I just, I did watch the flyweight UFC uh, tough series, sorry. <laughs> um, so I do know of her, but I didn't get to look into it. And I'm not really one to actually watch and study my opponents because I become too emotionally invested. Like, I get G'd up and I'm like, nah, fuck this bitch. So this time around, <laughs> I had to calm down a little bit and then just not look. I just trust my coaches to give me the correct advice and I just go from there. I wonder, you know, we always hear about like UFC jitters and nerves. Like, yeah. it's been so long since you fought. I wonder, is, is that going to be like a new experience all over again or do you think yeah. you can build off what you had last time? No, I think it would be, be great if anything. Like, I've had that long time. So, I, you know, coming here, I feel like a veteran, but I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, it's actually a great feeling. So, I'm really ready and I'm calm and I'm, I'm cool. I'm ready for it. And last thing for me, I mean, this does seem like a fresh start, you know, new weight class has been a lot. Yep. What are the goals for this year? What do, what do you want to accomplish? What, what, are you, what are you trying to do? This year, definitely want to get some more fights in. Um, at least have another two, see how I go, of course, with this one. And then we take steps from there. But of course, taking each fight as it comes. But um, hopefully staying healthy um, and we can go again. And, and what do you see in the division? Obviously, you're probably looking at you know the top 15. What do you think it's going to take to break through there? I mean, Montana's ranked 14th, so I'm assuming of course won't be down there straight away. But it's jumping up real quick, especially flyweight. It's a it's a young division for us, us females. Um, but of course, you never know who you're going to fight next. But it's all exciting, and I know that each fight is just going to get harder and harder. So, got to work for it. And what about being on the pay per view? That's pretty exciting. Surely. Oh, that's the best pay per view. Like second fight, and especially like I've got a small name in. It's a great way for myself to gain some exposure, so can't complain at all with that. And speaking of that, like the Australian media, like your coach said, yeah. they really haven't been paying attention to you. Here you are, you like you said, second fight on the on the main card, and yeah, we really haven't heard anything from the Australian media. So. I mean, it doesn't phase me too much. I mean, I know who the law fans are. You know, it's sometimes same people you walk in that cheer for you when you walk out, they will boo you because. They're just bandwagon riders, you know, they'll just jump on whoever else is winning or whatever it is. That's fine, you know, I know that true people, loyal people will actually believe in me, so it doesn't bother me. And on the local scene, you, you pretty much took everyone out on the feet in the first round, and we got to see you, you know, go three hard rounds with Alex. Yeah. And uh, what are you looking for in this fight? Are you looking to maybe put someone away early? Definitely, definitely. Like, after the, my last fight, home three rounds, I was like, I ain't doing this again. Like, <laughs> not because of the um, gas tank or whatever, that was cool. Like I had more to give, but I just want to leave an impression on people. And I don't think I'm just a fighter, I'm an entertainer as well. So I want to put on a good show, people want to pay to watch. So I want to make sure that it goes down how they want it to. And lastly, uh, from the area, Southwest Sydney, uh, what are you going to say to everyone you know, in that area that, that follows you and obviously coming up and your, your team's doing so well now in the UFC at ATT? What do you got to say to the area? Guys, we made it. All right, we're putting the South of Sydney on the map. All right, so um, of course we're just trying to bring that up up there. You know, bring Sydney fighters, Sydney all athletes, you know, up on a different world stage. So yes, when I come up, we're all coming up together. <laughs>
Um, you mentioned earlier um, about you got injured with a fall. Um, yes. Can you, can you, what was that uh, there's, a, there's a funny story actually yeah. with that. So um, when I say fall, I was actually playing with my nephew and then I was riding a little baby bike. <laughs> all right, a baby bike, guys, like not even pedals, all right, like, 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 like Flintstone styles. And I'm sitting on there and I'm going and then I tried to do a wheelie. I'm like, gosh, I had to do a wheelie. And I came to do it and then I fell on my back straight on tiles. But like, I just landed flat, hit my head, my back, and I was like stiff and I was screaming. So um, I just got some bulging discs and stuff like that from it. So I still feel it here and there, but um, I'm mostly healed, so I'm all right. So has that, that been your worst injury? No, not that. I've had lots well, like, of injuries, that and this knuckle that I had to get surgery on. Because I cracked the side mirror of my car, so let's not go there. <laughs> and those side mirrors didn't fall off, so I was even angrier. Yeah, but okay. a bit injuries. This is a bit of a kind of a, just a broad question, but like, right. um, how did you get into all this, like fighting, and, and, and where did you come up, where, not come up, but, but you, know, you said this is entertainment too. Yep. Like, like when did you kind of realize this? And well, like I kind of was watching WWE as like younger, so like I used to look up to the other girls and be like, oh my god, like they're good-looking girls, but they're you know wearing these awesome leather things and they're like throwing bitches left right and center. And I was like, I'd love to do that, but I never really knew MMA was a thing here at all. I didn't even know it even existed until my brother started training at Australian Top Team, um, and then I was like watching like BJJ comps and I was like. Oh, I'd love to get into this, and um, of course, I didn't realize that there's like properly like gloves. Like, oh, I thought it was some bare knuckle. I'm like, yeah, I want to go a oh, fight club. Like, this is some fight club shit, but I really wasn't. So I had to learn. <laughs> I had to learn the discipline side of it, and then of course get into it from there. So my coaches took me under their wing, Suman and Ash, and they helped me out. Are you still a pro wrestling fan? No, I haven't been watching it, okay, but when I was younger, definitely oh. more. Yeah. So, you know, if you know, there's been a lot of fighters and do some pro wrestling now. You know. Yeah. Future plans. You know, oh, you never know. You never know. But no, I'm not not the moment. Not in the works. Was it an easy decision to move up to flyweight? You know what? Um, it was basically like in the works. As soon as I missed weight, I was thinking, you know, stuff this. I'm not missing weight again and embarrassing myself, embarrassing my team, and of course, take have to, having to give a cut of my purse to my opponent. So that all makes a big big decision. But um, I just feel healthier at this weight and happier, and um, I can train without having to think about the weight cut, just enjoy it, learn, challenge myself and go from there. Has that made fight weight a bit more enjoyable as well? It definitely has been. I've been able to like have an actual smile and not be moping. But um, every day is a new day for me and I'm just really excited to be here.